Hey, it's Mike and John from PumaPlow.com playing some more Farming Simulator 15 on the Xbox. Here at Sosnovka, where it begins. Yep, I found the third one. The epic harvest of epicness. It's canola, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I went and replanted the world. Slash planted what we just bought. And planted the other half of the world that we didn't plant the first time. Fertilized everything. Yeah. It's good time. So, we should... Wait, there's four. How many companies do we own? Four? I guess we own four. Five? I just found another one. Oh, and uh, I know you don't know this so. yet, but Field 36, that was grass. Did you plow that under? Uh-huh. Uh, you must have been bored. So, I did that all like Monday or something. So, it literally is the whole map. Well, let's get going, So, huh? I guess I need to find my truck. This truck would be helpful, yeah, right? Yeah, trucks. The good thing is it is canola, so it's not going to be, like, right. the worst thing ever. Right. So, like, there's an auger wagon there, but, you know. Yeah. Maybe on this side of the map. Seems like too much like work. Yeah. But over on that side of the map, no. So, we need, like, multiple dump points. You know. I must have filled the truck up at some point. I did that. I was say, it's like, I thought it was, like, getting it's, empty. It was empty. What did I, I used your truck for the low boy for, like, moving the plow on there. Oh, uh, yeah. And then bringing it back. And stuff. And you were like, oh my god. It was like hours of plowing, just so. I'm sure it was. And then I actually overplowed and then planted grass back and yeah, all that good stuff. Cool. Okay, so we got uh, 32, 30, 27, and 24 going. Yeah, except I think 24 and 27 aren't going to work. Because so. they're too big or no? Oh, the they're, angles. They're on the they're on the wrong side. Okay. Well, I'll go handle the so. 30, 30, 32. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm slowly running behind you. These trucks are slow. Buy the man truck. Money. Money, do it. Uh, 577000 That's more than I thought we'd have. We had less, but the cows made us like 300000 at, at midnight. Yeah, sure. And we do have a bunch of wool pallets again, because, you know, I had to fast time. Right. So, we'll get to that eventually. Hmm. Three days from What's later. That 27? It's 27? It's time for a tap about. Um, he's oh, rolling. He's back. Okay. Yeah. Must have started him on the other end of the field. Hi, kitten. Uh, yes, you did. He has not done a pass yet here. Jump, jump. Allegedly, we'll turn around here in a minute. We're going to see. I don't think we will. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll knock out a bunch of these fields. Well, you got half full on a pass of canola. Goodness. Whoa. So do we want to, like... You, How do we want to do combines for, like, fields? Because there's so many and stuff. Because, like, um, so the 30 fields down across the bottom all need to be done. Right. Well, we can either take two, each take two and go, or we can stick all four together. Yeah. You know, it, it, whatever. So we could go north and then end up down at the field? What if we end up at 33 and 34? Yeah, because we're not going to worry about selling the stuff, like the no. equipment. There, There's no woods nearby. Basically just go... We'll finish with 31. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest All field. four of them right there? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, just kind of start and just, you know. <laughs> if we did four combines in 31, I think we would do it in one pass. I'm sure we could get all four in there at once. <laughs> so That would be kind of amusing, actually. But, yeah, let's go clockwise around the map. Or we can go anti-clockwise. It's up to you. Or we can go both. Mm, we can. Yes. Dun, dun. Wait, but it's law and order? Apparently someone was bad. Uh-oh. Yep. Speaking of bad, I mean, it's great, but it's bad at the same time. Been watching that People vs. O.J. Simpson? Yeah. Riveting TV. Is it? Yeah. I think just off that second episode alone, Cuba Gooding Jr. is going to get a like an Oscar or something. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was good. Hmm. I didn't realize during the car chase for the O.J. Simpson thing yep. back in the day. Watched, first, watched first, it live. First off, that was not his Bronco. Right, Al Collins. His buddy loved him so much that he bought identical car. Okay. He wasn't driving. OJ wasn't driving. He was in the back of the gun to his head. I didn't know that. You were too young. I remember the car chase, but I guess, yeah, that well, kind I mean, of details I don't remember. It was 94, Four? right? I think so. So I was in high school, so I was like 17 or something, 16, so, like so you were seven. six. Six, six seven. Six or seven, right. So. Yeah. yeah. It was riveting. There was actually a basketball playoff game on or something? Yep. Or some kind of big sporting yep. event. That they night. referenced that, yeah. And uh, it just got shit on in the readings, basically. 
by OJ with a gun to his head in the back of a Bronco. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They 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 showed that. Yep. There were a bunch of people at like a bar. Yeah. That they showed in the people versus OJ Simpson on FX. It's not a paid advertisement, I swear. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were all watching the game, and then they cut to that, and everybody booed, and then everybody would, like realized what it was, and they were all okay with it. Yeah. And uh, like people were out on the streets with free OJ signs. And yeah. Chanting them to go. All that and... stuff. It was a big. It was like an all night event too. Yeah. Because then once they got back to OJ's house, it they continued. Go back to OJ's house. Yeah. They went back to Juice's house. Yeah. Right. So then he was like, like almost like held hostage in his own, or he was like you know holding himself hostage, yep. or whatever you want to call it. In the, in the Bronco out in front. And then one of his kids ran out or some or one something older, older yeah. kids or something. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Yeah. Just... They condensed it down to an hour. The yeah. whole car chase. Nice. So. But yeah, it was uh, it was quite the event. Yeah. Were we gonna cultivate? Not on this map. I mean, we don't own a cultivator. No, we are gonna do it on Blackrock. Because Blackrock has the texture. This one doesn't have the texture. We should plant the world in grass. Okay. Just so we can never use this map again. Start over. <laughs> Break out the plows, guys. All right. We okay. could start two. We could start two planters right now. So yeah. <laughs> that'd be kind of amusing. Yeah. You come back in, you're like, oh. Um. What happened? Never mind. <laughs> But yeah, the it's just there's so many details about that whole thing that I just didn't know because I was too young, mm-hmm. and it's very fascinating television. Yeah, he totally did it too. Oh, he so. completely did it. Yeah, totally did it. Yeah, shout out to Nevada for finally getting him in jail. Just saying. Yup. Yeah, he even said in the in the one thing he's like, I deserve to be heard or something for what I've done, and it's like, yeah. what? The other theory I heard is that he because he has a couple older kids. Yes. Or at least one older kid. I forget. Yeah. One of the theories is that his son did it, and he's covered for his son. Oh, wow. Because, you know, DNA would be relatively the same. And, yeah, yeah. You know, blah, blah, blah. So. Wow. That was the other theory I heard. Huh. So. I want to see interviews, and they might be out there, from, like, Marsha Clark. Oh, I'm sure they're From, there. like, the people that were involved. Right. Like, I want to see, and obviously I know, like, Shapiro died. Kardashian died, too, didn't Car- he? Or Kard- Kardashian died, and... Um, Johnny Cochran died. Johnny Cochran died, yeah. <laughs> Shapiro's still alive. But nope. people like that, I want to see interviews from them. So, I think they all know that he got away with murder. Oh, I mean, America knows that. So, spoiler alert, because you're not there yet, right? But when they go to do the, the glove, they make him try on the glove. Uh-huh. Should have never done that. Uh, that turned the case. Because it didn't fit because it shrunk well, or something? it was covered in blood and, and water and stuff and shrunk. Yeah. And then on top of that, to avoid any kind of contamination you wore like a rubber glove type thing but it was uh, like a like one of those vinyl baggy gloves yeah all that and then he was spreading his hand out real wide as he tries it on uh, and so then it became if the glove don't fit you got you must have quit or something yeah yeah that turned the case that right there wow should have never have tried it on yeah never that's crazy so, so. no yeah as of recording this I've watched the second episode is he in, I guess he's in jail now since the car chase is over he yeah they basically just took him in the whole, basically, the whole second episode was car chase. Right, sure. So, and the events, yeah, surrounding it. What night's that on? Tuesday or something? It's on Tuesday nights. Okay. On FX. So every Wednesday on TMZ's website, because, yeah, huh? I, I watch every TMZ. Yeah. They're always like, a source close to the Kardashians. Or like, it's one of the Kardashians. Just shut up. Clearly. I think it's actually uh, Chris Jenner, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. her and uh, Harvey Levin are like BFFs. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. So when they're like a, cl- a source close to the Kardashians, you're like, uh, it's, it's, it's her. clearly so one of them. Whatever, it's yeah. all good. It was a little disgusting though, because like they introduced to like the media, mm-hmm. um, Robert Kardashian. Yep. In that episode, because he like read a letter from OJ. Right. So OJ left a suicide note. Right. And he actually wrote them like Kurt Cobain. Just saying. Yeah. Go on. Because Courtney Love wrote Kurt. Because right? she killed him. But whatever. Yeah, you know. Um, wow. It's totally true. She totally just, did. I mean, just I am. Allegedly. Anyway, carry on. And people are, like, all the press are like, how do you spell your name? How do you spell your name? Uh-huh. And they cut to a scene with, like, four kids, three girls, and a boy, and they're all, like, spelling the name and screaming the last name. And it's like, oh, I just want to barf. I just just want to barf. That's where they started getting famous. Yeah. Yep. Barf. So. Freaking OJ, see, he even made the Kardashians famous. Yeah. He should be in jail just for that. That alone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anyway, back to farming. Uh, you know. We're doing that. Yeah. It's Slowly. Harvesting. 
We'll knock out a few fields this video, and then I guess we'll go from there. Actually, we can make hella progress if we go north. All them little fields? Yeah, I mean, 18 is a big field, but like 22, 17, 13, 7. Yeah. Everything in down beautiful downtown Sosnovka? Pretty much, yeah. We'll go pretty quickly. We'll take more time uh, moving combines than anything. Yeah, they kind of did planting. Yeah, I'm sure. It took a while to like move all the planters and fertilizers. Because and... once you get north of that road there above 17, dude, you got tiny. nothing until you get to... Uh... Like 10. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> or 11 over there, yeah. It's a while. So. And, and those... really, none of the fields on this map are that big. No. The pencil cut's a crazy one now because of what we made it. Yeah. It's not a big field. Yeah, no. So. It's, it's not. It's just a lot of length. Yep. So. We should put all four combines in that field. Could you fit them all in there? I don't, I don't know. It sounds like yeah, a challenge, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, I think you can't. You, you do just over two rounds. You do like two and a half rounds. So we need to buy another combine. Right. <laughs> one and done. All right. That'd be kind of Everybody amusing, actually. <laughs> Start all north. That would be kind of funny. I don't think they'd fill up even. Ah, uh, they might. On uh, canola. It's a long pass. It is pretty long, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll have to get the smallest head for this cup mine. And there hire, you go. like, well, you yeah. can't only hire six. So. Darn it. It would look cool, though, with like 10 coming in that point. Wouldn't it? it sounds yeah. like a PC thing to do. Doesn't it? Yeah. It would what be politically was... correct, right? Ha! Ha! Oh, I meant like a personal computer. I, I know what you mean. Somebody had a PPLT idea the other day. Oh yeah, we need one of those. I've and it was actually like, kind of ran out of ideas like legit. Long time ago. Yeah. Oh okay, we were talking about like using the all crop head on the chaffers. Yeah. Have you done one like that? To do what? Basically, like let's say you have a spot of wheat. Oh uh, okay, I think I know you're going. But go ahead, yeah. And you combine the wheat first with a regular grain head on a combine. Yep. And you see how much yield you get okay then you chaff it with the all crop head on the one of the forage harvesters and see what you get and see what you get does that number line up okay and then there's another step you combine it and then chaff it uh, yeah you combine it lay the straw down right pick up chaff the straw. the straw and then see where the numbers all kind of meet up i mean i'd have to guess that Combining it and then picking up the straw for chaff would be the best way to go. Yeah. Just from a pure number standpoint. Yeah. But, yeah, the other one would be interesting. So I, I would assume... I think it was Cobra was talking about it. He was wondering. I would assume even if you use the all crop cut head and cut it down, I mean, you don't get the value out of it because you're not getting the grain. But see, now, does the... does the Or does the extra yield make up for it? Exactly. Does the number of grain... Right. Say you get a 1,000, you know, mm -hmm. wheat... A thousand bushels of wheat, right. leaders. Would you get an extra thousand right, over I, combining it and then picking it up? I get what you're saying. You know, it was kind of like, huh? I wonder. Right. My point is, you don't get the the monetary benefit of picking the grain up. No, no, no. It wouldn't but, be about money necessarily. It'd sure. be about, about yield. yield. Yeah. yeah. In the different ways, if you would, how you'd come out ahead as far as yield goes. Right. Right. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, huh. It made me think a little. It kind of kind of hurt my brain. So I was like, I don't know about all this thinking, guys. You know, thinking is gross. I can't. I can't manage. So you're almost done, aren't you? Yeah. Goodness. Uh huh. Okay. I'm riding in the one yeah. already. Looks like they're both on the very north edge of their fields. Yeah. You want to come drive the other one for you? Uh, if you want. I should have. You time. get nothing else I to do. Have time. I guess I'm gonna go what. If you're gonna come north, you can go to 18. I'll say go, yeah, over to 18. Start knocking out that beast. It'll take a minute. Yeah, well, and then I'll just go 22. Just go 17. north and try to yeah. knock out a bunch of little fields while you're moving on. Pretty much, yeah. Let me get this guy empty. Then the only thing that sucks is potentially to get to some of these fields, we're gonna have to unhook the heads. Yeah, I'm a little worried about going through and downtown. No, we can, I think we'll be okay. And tow them with the semis. Downtown Slow Snowka, I think we can avoid. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, there's there should be that other combined stuff now. Okay, let me get this guy empty. They were, like, damn near perfectly synced up, too. Pretty good. Wow. He needs to be empty, too, but he'll be fine. Get him over. Okay, Blasting over to 18. Let's go. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're knocking these seals out. It's going to, I mean, it's going to be a couple oh. weeks, but we'll, uh. Yeah, we'll get there. We will get her done or something. Larry the Cable Guy would say. This guy's 82% full, yes. Well, I wonder what his real name is. Larry the Cable Guy? Yeah. 
I mean, I could Google it. It's like Fred. It's probably something really lame. Yeah. Really, really dumb, yeah. It's like, oh, you got the new combines. Do I? You got the dirty, gross ones. I mean, they make these things. I mean, they're all going to be dirty, gross here pretty soon. But, called uh, rain. But whatever. <laughs> rain drops keep falling on my throat. I'm going to put this guy on the, the west edge. That's fine. You can put your guy further in. Yeah, I was going to go all the way across. Yeah, yeah. We can work towards each other. Why not? Because then I don't have to babysit him because I need to get my truck up here like right away. Yeah, I need to go into my truck. So, yeah, I need to do that then too. Need some portable storage over here. There you go. Stat. Just download that mod real quick. For the Xbox, huh? Oh, wait, we're on the console. Right. The peasant box doesn't have mods. Nope. Okay, truck, we're 97% full. No, no point in chasing the combine down. Oh, boy. Not for uh, 1,800 liters. Yeah. So I'm going to come tearing past you here in a second. Although That's... you're probably not in the combine anymore. Nope, still. Uh, it's a long drive across this field. Well, I'm going to come tearing through your field here in a second <laughs> to go empty. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, and I actually don't think. Remember we had that little bit of corn? It's Something's still there. I don't think I ever sold it. I uh, never got around to it. There's something in storage. I don't know if it's barley or corn. I think it's corn. But that's no big deal. We can with, sell it later. With all that plowing. I had to do. Right. I didn't have much, like, goof around time on this map. Should have brought the ringers in. I thought about it. Be like, ringer, go sell me a load of corn. I actually did a bunch of this, like, late Sunday night. Wait, that's not what I thought it was. Yep. And then I did the rest of it, like, early Monday morning. Not early, but, you know. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Before the ringers were on. Yeah. So. I wish I was off work Monday, John. Take a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I already used one day this year. I mean, it was a sick day, but still. Yeah. Somehow, we're supposed to get two weeks of sick time. And you have three, right? According to my, 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 my site that I can go check on, I have three weeks. Now, that's not to say at some point they're going to take a week away and I'll be like, say, oh, yeah, hey, we screwed up. Don't don't tell anybody. Oh, I've told, like, just my buddy. <laughs> I told my two buddies. I'm like, hey, look at this. They're like, yeah, because they only have two. Yeah. And you have three. I mean, I've been around longer than both of them, too. I've been hitting, kind of about to hit 10 years there. Yeah. And they're both, like, under two years. Gotcha. But still. But even at, like, that long, do you, do you get any more? I, I didn't think there was ever a... Uh, a bump a, in. a bump to get three weeks. Okay. But yeah. You get more vacation, not more sick time. Yeah. I'm up to three weeks vacation, which is nice too. I gotcha. Our sister's always complaining. She's like, I need more than two weeks. I'll be here ten years then. Shut up. Didn't she at her old job, didn't she have like oh, she had so five much. weeks or something? Yeah, you'd start with like three weeks right off the bat. Yeah. Which when I worked at the cultural institution downtown. <laughs> it is. Uh huh. It was a strip club, okay? <laughs> Wait. Um I just, I'm not, I'm anyway, not going to touch that one um, with a pole. Get it? Ah! I'll save this pole. my next story for the next video because we're almost done here. But anyway, <laughs> um, I walked in that place with three weeks of both. Oh, wow. And then you get more from there. So when I left, because I was only there like a year and a half. Yeah. I had so much time built up, it was ridiculous because you could roll everything too. Oh, nice. It was great. That was also the place I walked in on my fourth day of work. and was like, I need to take tomorrow off. Oh, that was grandma's funeral, right? Grandpa's. Grandpa's? And they're like... Okay, I'm like, my grandpa died. Yeah. Okay, whatever you need, Mike. Like, legit. That was literally <laughs> my fourth day of work. Wow. But, you know, they were nice folks, so they were like, whatever it takes, man. Yeah. And I only took one day off. I could have taken three. Yeah. You know, but Bereavement, was, isn't that what it's called? Yeah, bereavement, yeah. yeah. Which was, I don't, okay, it wasn't great. I don't want, that's not the word I really want to use here. But when grandma died a couple years ago? Yeah. So it happened on a Sunday or something, right? It Saturday was a, or Sunday. It was a Sunday morning, yeah. So I walked into work Monday, and I was there for a couple hours because I used to go and super freaking yeah. And the, my boss arrived. I'm like, hey, I need, I need uh, my grandma died. I need to take a couple days off. He's like, okay, sure, whatever. Because they're cool like that. Yeah. Had to give them an obituary, which I get. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. Otherwise, in a company, it's like, In a company my size, yeah. it makes sense. Otherwise, hey, it's like, oh, the dog ate my homework again. Right. Hey, my combine stopped. Oops. So. Um, but anyway, so I took Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off, right? Yeah. We only had events two days that week, so, you know, yeah. one of those days was just a day off. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, well, I'm not coming back on Friday. I'll just take a vacation day. Mm. And they're like... Okay, that's cool. How did I not just put my truck in the river? So, bridge. <laughs> bridge sucks. I was sideways like 18 times across that bridge. We need to, like, get a tax increase or something. Yeah. Fix that stupid bridge. Seriously. Yep, seriously. Maybe we can uh, just not worry about it in, like, three more weeks <laughs> or something. Three more weeks? Wow. Something like that. At right? least one more week. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. Next couple, week? Couple yeah. probably. I don't know. Yeah. It depends. It depends. It's almost full, too. Great. 
But yeah. It would help you out, and all my cum mines get full. I mean, you had to empty your truck. That was the bigger problem, is I ran the truck back. Okay. Yes. So I'm, I'm running mine back, so. It was all bad timing is really what it was. I'm sure when I get back, my stuff okay. will be full, too. Nah. No? Nah? I don't know. I don't have as far to run. You don't have as far to run, and I think I just stopped. Damn it. <laughs> you don't have as far to run, and um, hopefully they're relatively empty. Uh, the one was. The one was empty. The other one, not so much. I thought so. we'd get more of these fields done, but I'm not even done with my fields yet. Goodness. Well, I Those have are decent. fields, too. Right. Well, yeah, the 30, 30 and 32 down there, especially 30, is like nothing. They're small, right? So. Okay, let me get Yeah, you, you definitely had the bigger the I'll bigger make up for it here in a second. We count, like, number of fields done here in a second. Yeah. When you're stuck in 18 forever and I'm just, like, mowing down fields. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's what's going to happen here in a second. Oh, yeah. yeah so. those, well, there's so much turning. There's a lot of turning, but, like, 22 is actually a decent-sized field, too. Yeah, 22 is not bad. 17 17 is nothing. 13 is nothing. I've never harvested 7 or 1. They can't be that big. We've never harvested 8, 9, 2. Oh, that stuff. Okay, so we'll pick this up next time. Yep. I think before then I'll get my combines jump somewhere because we're all but done. Yeah. And we'll go from there. Yep. So until next video, we're Mike and John from PumaPlab.com. See ya. Toodles.